July 24, 2022 is a Sunday. Welcome to your daily weather for the great city of Chicago. The temperature today should reach up to 82 degrees Fahrenheit and down to 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Bring plenty of water out today, because humidity is at 64%. You can expect 5.45 millimeters of rain and no snow today. Some clouds. We've got moderate wind at about 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow is going to be warm with overcast clouds. Tuesday is going to be warm with light rain. Wednesday is going to be warm with light rain. Thursday is going to be warm with light rain. Friday is going to be warm with clear sky. Saturday is going to be warm with few clouds. Sunday is going to be warm with clear sky. Flood watch remains in effect through Sunday morning. What flash flooding caused by excessive rainfall continues to be possible. Where portions of Illinois and northwest Indiana, including the following areas, in Illinois, Boone, Central Cook, DeKalb, DuPage, Eastern Will, Grundy, Kane, Kankakee, Kendall, Lake Ill, McHenry, Northern Cook, Northern Will, Southern Cook and Southern. Will, in northwest Indiana, Lake Inn and Porter. When, through Sunday morning. Impacts, excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations. Creeks and streams may rise out of their banks. Flooding may occur. In poor drainage and urban areas. Additional details. Thunderstorms with high rainfall rates are expected. Overnight, with additional thunderstorms lingering across much of the watch area into Sunday morning. The high rainfall rates over saturated soils will lead to localized street flooding, runoff into already elevated streams, creeks and rivers, and renewed inundation of low-lying areas. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood Flood advisory in effect until 815 a.m. CDT this morning. What flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected? Where, a portion of northeast Illinois, including the following. Counties, Cook, DuPage and Kane. When, until 815 a.m. CDT. Impacts, minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Ponding of water in urban or other areas is occurring or is imminent. This includes in the city of Chicago. In addition, quick rises of streams are expected, including potentially the north branch of the Chicago River. Additional details. At 513 a.m. CDT, Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to thunderstorms tracking over the area through at least daybreak. Up to one inch of rain has fallen already since 4 a.m. CDT. Some locations that will experience flooding include Chicago, Elgin, Cicero, Arlington Heights, Evanston, Schomburg, Palatine, Skokie, Des Plaines, Berwyn, Mount Prospect, Wheaton, Hoffman Estates, Oak Park, Glenview, Elmhurst, Lombard, Buffalo Grove, Bartlett and O'Hare Airport. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. And now for the news. Warning, some news stories can be disturbing or offensive. Stories are provided by various sources. For our next story, EP 370, it sure sounds like Nikon wants out. Episode 370 of the PETA Pixel Photography Podcast. In our next story, Illinois requiring public universities to develop and implement equity plans. This is political, plain and simple. It's solidifying the progressive hold on higher education at the exclusion of anyone who disagrees. Wow, I have no opinion at all, but rage against the machine make $75,000 donation to indigenous charities in Canada. Rage Against the Machine are once again putting their money where their mouth is. 
In other Illinois news, now wins business award for 15th year in row Nutra Ingredients USA.com. The recognition is part of a national program called Best Amp, Brightest Companies to Work For. The competition was found. Was dead by Detroit-based business publication Corp. Magazine. For our next story, Wilmer Business Park is being built by Houston developer The Dallas Morning News. A Houston-based property investor and developer has broken ground on a new business park in Wilmer. In other Illinois news, Trump refused to call off attack on Capitol during January 6 riots, U.S. Representative says. U.S. Representative Adam Kinzinger told the January 6 hearing on 21 July that former President Donald Trump refused to cal. L. Off the attack at the Capitol. In other Illinois news, bad auction, 40 years owned 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 429. This 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 429 was first delivered to Folger Ford of Monrovia, California, and it was acquired by the seller in 1982. That's it Illinois. Have a good one. We're always working to improve our service. Please subscribe to show support. See description for sources. This content contains information from OpenWeather TM API, which is made available here under the Open Database License ODBL.